In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to hyperlinks and anchors that help to make your site easy to navigate. A hyperlink, or link for short, is a clickable object or text that you can click on to jump to a new page or new section within a current page. On my yoga and fitness site, you can see from the site tab that only the first five pages are included in the navigation bar. This means that I need to provide other ways of accessing the additional pages. This can be done by adding hyperlinks. First, I'll add a hyperlink to text, which will direct a site visitor to a new page. The text is placed in a text frame on the main master page, so that it will display on all of the pages in this site that use the master page. This also has the advantage that I only have to create the link once. To open the master page, I simply double click on the entry in the site tab. To create the first link, I select the text and on the toolbar, click hyperlink. In the dialog, I have several options. I want to link to the terms of use page, so I choose site page and then select the relevant page in the drop down list. I want this to open a special window called a light box. This means that visitors stay on the website once they have read the information. In the target window or frame section, I'll select the light box and click OK. Notice that the colour has updated to match the site colour scheme. I'll repeat this process for the privacy policy page. Let's now preview the links in a browser. When I click one of the new links, the page opens in a light box. It's easy to link to a different page, but what if you want to link to a different place on the same page? On a long page, visitors want to get to the information straight away, without lots of scrolling. This is where anchors come into play. Near the bottom of the page, there is some text above the timetable. To create an anchor, I place my cursor at the start of the text, then I select Anchor from the toolbar. Web Plus helpfully creates a default anchor name for me, so I can just click OK to accept it. Next, I need to create the hyperlink to the anchor. As you can see, I've created a text frame containing the name of my fitness classes. To link to the anchor, I select the relevant text and select hyperlink from the toolbar. This time, I need to choose Anchor. I need to ensure that the correct anchor is selected from the drop-down list. The target window needs to be Same Window, which is selected by default. When I click OK, the link is created. I'll now repeat the process to create anchors for the other timetables. This time, when I create the links, I need to ensure that the correct anchor is selected from the drop-down list, which now contains all of the available options. You can also add anchors to a navigation bar, which can make it even easier for your visitors to get to the right information. I can do this for all anchors in one go from the Anchor Manager dialog, found in the Tools Site Manager menu. In the dialog, I select the anchor category, and then I'll select the topmost include in navigation option. This checks all of the anchors in one go. Finally, I give each anchor a title and click close. The final step is to edit the navigation bar to include the new anchors. When I select my navigation bar, I click Edit on Master Page. I then select Edit Navigation Bar from the Context Toolbar, and in the dialog, check the Include Anchors option. When the page is previewed, the anchors are displayed in the navigation bar.
On a long page, it's good practice to have links to take your visitors back to the top of the page. I've already created some back to top text for this purpose. Conveniently, WebPlus provides us with a ready made anchor, so all I have to do is click hyperlink and then select top from the anchor drop down list. You can see the effect when I preview my site. Hyperlinks can also be added to pictures. Pictures can have the same type of links as text, but they can also be self-linking, so that they open to a larger version of themselves. I'll use this image on the slider to demonstrate. To create the link, I select the picture and click Hyperlink. In the dialog, I select Picture, and in the target window or frame, I'll select Lightbox and confirm my changes. Let's preview this link to see it in action. The slider creates the animation when I move the pointer over the picture, and the pointer changes to a hand to show that it is a link. Now when I click on the picture thumbnail, the full-sized version opens in a light box. Well, that's all for this tutorial. We've briefly looked at the most common ways to use and create hyperlinks in your site. For further information, see the How To tab, WebPlus Help, or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.